Hi there, health enthusiasts. Ever wondered what's really in your food? It's not just about the calories, fats, carbs, and proteins. There's a story hidden behind those numbers, and it's told through the ingredient label. This little list on the back of your food package is your secret weapon in understanding what's actually going into your body. Now, you might be thinking, why should I care about the ingredients? It's a fair question. After all, if it tastes good, it can't be that bad, right? Well, not quite. The truth is of the ingredients used in processed foods are not only unpronounceable, but also potentially harmful to our health. And here's a tip. If you can't pronounce it, it probably shouldn't be in your diet. As carnivores, we thrive on simple, natural foods, meat, salt, and water. Keep your food as close to its natural state as possible. Consider a common snack. The ingredient list is a mile long, filled with names that sound more like a science experiment than something you'd want to eat. So what do all these mean, and why should you care? Well, let's start with fructose corn syrup. This sweetener is everywhere, from bread to sauces, and it has been linked to obesity, diabetes, and liver disease. And here's a fun fact. It was introduced in the 1970s as a cheaper alternative to sugar. Then, there are artificial flavors and colors. These chemicals are designed to make food look and taste better. However, they can cause everything from allergic reactions to hyperactivity in children, and some are even carcinogenic. Did you know that some artificial colors are made from petroleum? Yes, the same stuff that fuels your car. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Are many more ingredients that deserve our attention, like butylated hydroxyanisole and butylated hydroxytoluene, monosodium glutamate, trans fats, carrageenan, sodium nitrite, aspartame, propel gallate, and many more. Each of these substances has its own story and potential impact on our health. So, the next time you're about to munch on your favorite snack or meal, take a moment to flip the package and read the ingredient label. Understanding these labels is crucial for maintaining health. It's not just about what you eat, but what's in what you eat. Stay tuned to find out what these harmful ingredients are. First up, high fructose corn syrup, a sweetener linked to obesity, diabetes, and liver disease. This syrup is a ubiquitous presence in our food system. It's found everything from your morning cereal to the ketchup you put on your fries. Why is it so prevalent? The answer lies in its affordability. High fructose corn syrup was introduced in the 70s as a cheaper alternative to sugar, but the price we pay is far from monetary. The consumption of this sweetener has been linked to numerous health concerns. Studies have connected it to an increased risk of obesity, a stepping stone to diabetes. It's also been linked to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, a condition becoming increasingly common in many parts of the world. So every time you reach for that soda or dress your salad with store-bought dressing, remember the hidden cost. Fun fact. High fructose corn syrup was introduced in the 1970s as a cheaper alternative to sugar. But what other harmful ingredients are lurking in our food? Let's find out. Next, artificial flavors and colors. Chemicals designed to make food look and taste better. These are more than just innocent additives. They have been linked to a host of health concerns from allergic reactions to hyperactivity in children. Some studies even suggest that certain artificial flavors and colors could be carcinogenic. This means they have the potential to cause cancer. These artificial elements are not naturally occurring and are instead synthesized in a lab. Their purpose? To enhance the taste and appearance of food, making it more appealing to consumers. But at what cost? The potential health risks are a significant trade-off for an aesthetically pleasing meal or snack. It's also worth noting that some of these artificial colors are derived from rather surprising sources. Did you know that some artificial colors are made from petroleum? Yes, the same stuff that fuels your car. So next time you reach for a brightly colored snack, remember what might be behind that vibrant hue. But that's not all. There are more harmful ingredients to be aware of. Let's delve into butylated hydroxyanisole, or BHA, and butylated hydroxytoluene, known as BHT. These are preservatives that prevent fats in food from going rancid, but here's the catch. While they may keep your food fresh, they're not so fresh for your health. These chemicals are known endocrine disruptors. That means they can interfere with your hormones, potentially causing a host of health problems. Even more concerning, 
BHA and BHT have been linked to cancer in animal studies. While human studies are still ongoing, these findings raise questions about their safety. So the next time you're munching a snack, think about the invisible price you might be paying for that prolonged shelf life. And here's a fun fact to ponder. BHT isn't just found in food, is also used in cosmetics and jet fuel to prevent oxidation. Makes you think, doesn't it? And guess what? There's more where that came from. Ever heard of monosodium glutamate, MSG? This flavor enhancer can cause headaches, nausea, and other symptoms in sensitive individuals. It's a common ingredient in many processed foods, and while it's known for its ability to enhance the flavor of dishes, it's not without its potential risks. MSG is often associated with the infamous Chinese restaurant syndrome, a collection of symptoms including chest pain, flushing, and sweating reported after consuming food containing high amounts of MSG. However, it's not just Chinese food need to be wary of. MSG can be found in many everyday items, canned soups, processed meats, and even salad dressings. While not everyone is sensitive to MSG, those who are can experience adverse reactions. It's a bit like playing food roulette. You may be fine, or you could end up with a pounding headache. But here's a fun fact to wrap this up. MSG was first isolated by a Japanese chemist in 1908 from seaweed. It's been over a century and we're still debating its effects. But we're not done yet. There's another ingredient you should know about. Trans fats, often listed as partially hydrogenated oils, are a big no-no on the carnivore diet. These dietary villains are notorious for their double-edged sword effect on cholesterol. Not only do they hike up your bad cholesterol levels, but they also have the audacity to lower your good cholesterol leading to a higher risk of heart disease. Picture this. It's as if you're being robbed, and the thief takes your valuables and leaves you with a pile of junk. It's not a fair trade, is it? Now you might be wondering how these trans fats came into being. Well, they were invented in the early 20th century to be a more stable alternative to natural fats like butter and lard. They promised longer shelf life and cheaper production costs, but as we now know, the health costs far outweigh the benefits. Remember, the best trade-off is no trade-off when it comes to your health. But wait, there's more. Let's dive into another harmful ingredient. Carrageenan is another sneaky ingredient, used as a thickener and stabilizer in dairy and dairy alternative products. It's often found lurking in your favorite yogurt, ice cream, and even that almond milk you enjoy in your morning coffee. But here's the thing. Despite its widespread use, Carrageenan is far from harmless. It's actually been linked to some serious health concerns. Research indicates that carrageenan can cause inflammation, a root cause of many serious diseases, including heart disease, Alzheimer's, and more. Even more concerning, some studies suggest that carrageenan may trigger gastrointestinal inflammation and higher rates of intestinal lesions, which can lead to cancer. It's concerns like these that make it essential to read your food labels carefully. It's not just about counting calories. It's about understanding what's actually going into your body. Remember, your health is worth the extra effort. Fun fact, carrageenan is derived from red seaweed and has been used in food for hundreds of years. And we're not done yet. There's another sneaky ingredient to be aware of. Sodium nitrite is used to preserve meats and keep them looking fresh but it's been linked to an increased risk of cancer. This chemical compound is a common addition to processed foods, particularly cured meats like hot dogs, bacon, and salami. Its primary function is to prevent bacterial growth, particularly the deadly botulism, while also lending a characteristic flavor and pink color to these products. However, when consumed, nitrite can form nitrosamines in the stomach, compounds that are proven carcinogens. Numerous studies have shown a correlation between high consumption of sodium nitrite and an increased risk of certain types of cancer, particularly colorectal cancer. While further research is needed to fully understand the potential health risks, it's clear that sodium nitrite is not an ingredient to be taken lightly. So, next time you're about to bite into a juicy hot dog, remember, sodium nitrite gives cured meats like bacon their distinctive pink color, but there's more. Let's uncover another harmful ingredient. Aspartame, an artificial sweetener found in diet sodas and sugar-free products, has been linked to headaches, dizziness, and an increased risk of cancer. This low-calorie sweetener, about 200 times sweeter than sugar, 
has been a topic of debate among health experts for decades. While it's approved for use by the Food and Drug Administration, concerns about its safety persist. Some studies suggest a connection between aspartame and a range of health problems, from mild symptoms like headaches and dizziness to more serious conditions like cancer. However, these findings are often disputed and more research is needed. Despite the controversy, it's worth noting that aspartame is one of the most thoroughly studied food ingredients with over 200 scientific studies supporting its safety. But here's the kicker. Aspartame wasn't intended to be in our food. Fun fact, aspartame was discovered by accident in 1965 by a chemist working on an anti-ulcer drug. Talk about a sweet surprise. And guess what? There's still more to uncover. Let's talk about propyl gallate and sodium benzoate, two preservatives you may want to avoid. Propyl gallate is a preservative often used to prevent fats and oils from going bad. It may not sound too harmful, but it's been associated with a range of health issues. For instance, it has been linked to stomach problems and skin irritations. Even more concerning, some studies suggest that propyl gallate may have carcinogenic effects. And here's a fact for you. Propyl gallate is not just found in food. It's also used in cosmetics and hair products to prevent oxidation. So you might want to take a look at your shampoo and moisturizer labels as well. Now let's move on to sodium benzoate. This is a common preservative found in acidic foods like sodas and salad dressings. But here's where it gets tricky. Sodium benzoate alone may not pose a significant threat, but when it's combined with vitamin C, it can form benzene. And benzene is a known carcinogen. That's right, a substance that can potentially lead to cancer. Quite unnerving, isn't it? The world of food preservatives is vast and complex. As consumers, it's our responsibility to understand what we're putting into our bodies. Each ingredient label tells a story, a story about what's actually going into your body. And as we've seen from the examples of propyl gallate and sodium benzoate, sometimes that story isn't always a happy one. But with knowledge comes power, the power to make informed decisions about our diet and lifestyle. So the next time you pick up a snack or a can of take a moment to scan the ingredient list, you might just find propyl gallate or sodium benzoate lurking there. And now you'll know exactly what they mean and why you want to think twice before consuming them. Remember, propyl gallate is sometimes used in cosmetics and hair products to prevent oxidation, while sodium benzoate can form a known carcinogen when combined with vitamin C. But we're not done yet. There's one more ingredient to discuss. Next up on our ingredients deep dive, let's talk about polysorbate 80. You might be wondering, what is that? Well, polysorbate 80 is an emulsifier that is often used in food and cosmetics. It helps to mix oil and water ingredients together, preventing them from separating. You can find it in a wide range of products, from your favorite ice cream to your daily skincare products. But here's the catch. Polysorbate 80 is known to cause allergic reactions in some people. Symptoms can range from mild skin rashes to severe anaphylactic reactions, and that's not all. Some research suggests that polysorbate 80 may negatively affect your gut health, potentially leading to inflammation and other related issues. However, more studies are needed to fully understand its impact on our bodies. The takeaway here is not to induce panic, but to raise awareness. It's about understanding the potential effects of the additives in our daily products and making informed decisions about what we consume and use. So the next time you're enjoying a scoop ice cream or applying your favorite moisturizer, remember, it might contain polysorbate 80. Polysorbate 80 is also used in the pharmaceutical industry to help drugs dissolve in water. And now you know exactly what that means. Let's wrap this up. Now that we've uncovered all these harmful ingredients, let's recap. Today we've journeyed through a labyrinth of additives, preservatives and artificial enhancers, peeling back the layers of the food industry's tricky terminologies. We've discovered the truth behind the ingredient labels on your food. High fructose corn syrup, a sweetener hiding in many of our food products, carries links to obesity, diabetes and liver disease. Artificial flavors and colors, while enhancing the appeal of food, can trigger allergic reactions, hyperactivity, and some cases, even cancer. We've examined butylated hydroxyanisole and butylated hydroxytoluin, preservatives that keep fats from going rancid, but also disrupt our endocrine system, 
and have been linked to cancer in animal studies. We also discussed monosodium glutamate, a flavor enhancer that can induce headaches, nausea, and other symptoms in sensitive individuals. Trans fats, disguised as partially hydrogenated oils, are detrimental to our cholesterol levels and heart health. Carrageenan, though a natural derivative of red seaweed, is associated with gastrointestinal inflammation and cancer. We discuss sodium nitrite, a preservative that keeps meats looking fresh, but has ties to an increased risk of cancer, particularly colorectal cancer. Aspartame, an artificial sweetener, is linked to headaches, dizziness, and a potential increased risk of cancer. Finally, we touched on propyl gallate and sodium benzoate, preservatives that prevent spoilage but have been tied to stomach and skin issues, potential carcinogenic effects, and the formation of a known carcinogen, benzene. The hidden truths behind these ingredient labels are a stark reminder of the importance of understanding what we consume. It's not about fear, but about making informed decisions for our health. The journey to better health isn't about perfection, but about progress and making better choices one meal at a time. Remember, understanding these labels is crucial for maintaining our health. It might seem like a daunting task, but with knowledge comes power. The power to choose, the power to change, and the power to cultivate a healthier, happier you. So the next time you pick up a food product, take a moment to read the ingredient label. If you can't pronounce it, it probably shouldn't be in your diet. As carnivores, we thrive on simple, natural foods, meat, salt, and water. Keep your food as close to its natural state as possible. Your body will thank you. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay informed.